Hey guys, it's Woody. So, I've been running all over the place past week or so, trying to stack some money up uh, with this truck. Uh, paid for all the repairs, uh, paid off a lot of other things, getting things caught up. Um, I am here in Lincoln, Nebraska today. I just delivered a load of beer up here and now I'm going to uh, deliver or <laughs> now I'm picking up a load uh, right down the street here in Lincoln going down to Paul's Valley and I'm gonna deliver that and then I'm going to the house um, except for the truck show I haven't had uh, in August back in August Gats except for Gats I haven't had any time off um, for about 20 weeks straight so I've just been running and, and building the business and working on adding trucks and hiring drivers and picking up the driver and um, you know placing them in the truck all that kind of stuff so I'll have more of that stuff next year um, you know the drivers of course don't want to be on camera which is fine uh, they don't have to be but that's you know probably part of the reason why I haven't made quite as many videos lately but today I want to talk about automation. So you want to have a, you know, at least from my point of view, you know, this is just my opinion, but um, you want to have a certain level of automation in your business so that if you take a day off or you take a week off or whatever, uh, the business is still running without you. you. You want to be able to have systems in place and things set up so that your drivers can run with or without you with 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 minimal input from you okay so um, a lot of people say I should get my own authority uh, I should go get my own authority get my own insurance get my own customers get my own trailers get my own trucks get everything set up myself Com build a system you know basically what they want you what people want you to do they want to put you in a bubble and of how they think you should handle situations it's like well first of all I'm not you and you're not me so I'm gonna handle situations differently than you may think uh, I should but I have a thought process to what I'm doing um, I have a business plan I have a, a little bit of idea of how to make money out here and you know I don't brag about what I make and I don't talk about it because there's always going to be that one guy that's like oh that's not enough money but it, it doesn't matter because I just show my results you know of adding two trucks this year um, we're going into winter now so I'm holding off on buying another truck until next year so because we're going into winter time um, I don't want to hire a driver in the winter and just in case you know maybe they haven't had winter driving yet or maybe they don't they're not as good with winter driving and they need to be trained or something like that um, I don't want to hire somebody in the winter time but come spring um, it's looking like we should be able to add another truck next spring and when I do I'll come on here and let you guys know hey I have a position available um, just letting you guys know our requirements are going to be much lower next year we got new insurance so you no longer have to have a three-year CDL now me personally I prefer that the driver have at least two years of experience driving um, but the insurance company is no longer an issue with getting drivers to come over here now before you blow up RST's phones etc like I said myself and RST as well we're not going to be adding trucks until next year okay so just getting that out there but automation so the way things are set up here I have a certain level of automation right um, there's only so much you can do physically when you're exchanging your time for money right so what I like to do is build something that and the when it's done being built I don't have to do any more work or very minimal work you know a lot of people like to call that passive income 
but it's not truly passive because you did the work to build it. It was not passive, okay? You actively built something to generate revenue, to generate profit so that you could grow, so that you can have freedom, right? So you wanna have a certain level of automation in your trucking business, okay? If you're a single truck carrier, you do all the office work, you do all the driving, you do all the dispatching, all that stuff, you do all the work, period, for the whole business, or just you and your wife, or you and whoever, you do all the work. If you're not working, if you take a day off, the business isn't making any money. That's not good, right? Um, you wanna build a system that generates revenue. After you're done building, you can, you can go do whatever else you wanna do, and that system is still generating money. That, would be passive income, right? But I do air quotes because it wasn't, it's not passive because you put all that time and that energy and that effort uh, into building it, right? So, you know, but the goal should be automation, okay? The way we, we have dispatch, okay? Uh, we've got trailer, we've got fuel cards, we've got the scanning, for the trip for the paperwork everything is set up I don't have to have input on most of the stuff that my drivers have to do okay that's automation that's what you want you want so you know instead of having to build those systems myself getting my own authority and building that from scratch there's already a system that exists okay with RST and with our customer base uh, with Prime and Carlisle they already have systems that costed them millions of dollars to build. They already have these systems built. So it only makes sense for me to spend a little bit of money, basically a percentage of the load, to use those systems to make it easier for me to grow and to focus on growth, right? So if you have zero automation in your business plan, and you have to do absolutely everything just to run the business. You don't have time to focus on growth. You don't have time to focus on what's important for generating profit. What's important for, um, you know, adding more trucks, you know. That's why a lot of these companies have less than five trucks for 20 plus years. Okay. Yes, they can make good money doing that, but it requires full time labor from themselves right right now at this point I still have to work pretty much full-time but um, technically I could go home whenever I want take some days off and the company's still gonna generate a profit just not quite as much because I'm not running but that's the kind of thing you want to build you want to build something that generates money when you're not working right you want to you want something that generates money when you're sleeping Something that generates money when you're on vacation. Something that generates money when you have an illness in the family or somebody passes away and you have to take off. You know, that's the level of freedom that most people will never reach because they don't want to build that. They, they don't want to put in the effort it takes to build that. Um, I'll be going on my seventh year in this business next year. So, you know, just to show you, that's how long it's taken me to get to three trucks. Okay, now there will be exponential growth going forward as as you know we generate more revenue per truck and and have more trucks it'll grow exponentially but getting to this point was the hardest part i think um, i'm sure we'll have more challenges in the future but it's it's been a rough road for the most part uh no pun intended but you know if you guys have any questions today feel free to leave a comment below um, let me know how you feel about automation in your business. What are you doing to get to that level so that you can generate more money and focus your, your, your brain power on the things that are most important for growing the business instead of using your brain power just to do paperwork and organize and dispatch. All right, so you guys have a good day. Stay safe out there and try not to die.